Well, hey there, folks. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. I am in the groove, and I am on the move. Well, hey there, everyone. Yep, yeah, that's right. I am in the groove. Man, we are working bees every day that I have a chance. So I am in the groove, and these bees are really getting going. I mean, they are getting going. Now, the nectar that we've seen in the last videos, it has slowed down. It has slowed? No, it has slowed down. That was a lot of uh, red, late red maple, by the way, um, that was coming out. Uh, we still got nectar, but not like we did, you know, a couple weeks ago. And uh, the other day, we were out here at this this set of colonies uh, while we were over there in town. I ran out of time, I, and I found one over here that really, it needed to be split. I knew it needed to be split, but I didn't split it that day. But I did make a nuke off of the other colony, so I didn't get to show you that. So I want to show you just one more way that I do swarm control or swarm prevention, whatever you want to call it, uh, early on in the season. Now remember, I'm not doing a how-to. I'm not telling you this is how you need to do your swarm control. I'm just doing how I do swarm control. And really, it, it's, a, it's kind of a, a uh, it's, it's really more of a band-aid because our season's so long. So we've got major swarming action that's happening around here now. But I get in my colonies once a week in March just to see where we're at, see if we're growing, and go ahead and split. You know, people are talking about supers. I am going to super some out here. So what I'm going to do today is yank some, a nuke off of a colony to kind of slow it down. Because when I tell you it's just a band-aid for a swarm uh, control measure for me, is while we're in the middle of some heavy swarming now, if we're not careful, my problem is we're gonna be getting into April and we're still gonna be dealing with that problem. Supering up then does help. They're still growing because there's just a little trickle of nectar. From here on out, what I like to do is just yank nukes off. I did it last year, it worked great. Still missed a few. Some of them just blow up so fast they don't care how much you take from them. So until we hit the heavy flow or we get a really good privet, it's hard to super up and keep up with them. So this is one way I do it. Yeah, I didn't get to show you me just yanking the nuke, but I tell you, it's quick and easy and it works well. And I believe it's uh, the second one on that stand right there. I got a bee in my hair. But yeah, it's the, it's the second one on the stand. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can yank a nuke off. And I'm probably gonna super a couple of these. I yanked a nuke off of this first one. So I don't know that I'll necessarily have to super that one, but. There's one down there that's building white wax. It might even be too late to super it. Before I do, I'll check it for sales, and then uh, that's it. But mainly, I just want to show you how I do a mini split, a band-aid, a swarm prevention measure. Show you a telltale sign on this one that they're ready. Really, they could probably stand to have a, a split done to them. But there's just not a ton of bees in there. But there's enough that they took that, and if you look right here, There's so all that brand new wax up top. Brand new capped wax. That's telltale that they're ready. Uh, and some of it's just on the outside. So it may be that they're not quite ready, but I'm hoping they caught them in time. There was no swarm cells in them, but uh, that's all brand new up on that side right there. I'll pull it out. This is all new, newly repaired, full of nectar. So it, it's time. It's time. Now I checked them a few days ago. I was out here only a couple days ago and they were fine. But I'm going to still flip them and make sure that I have no swarm cells. But these bees are ready. I'll be back next week. I'll give them about six days. Come back here and I'll double check. I'll see if they built cells. At that point, we'll split them no matter what. Or maybe they'll move on up and she can start laying up there. We'll see. That's all we can do. Let's look in this one and see can we now find her shake bees and get on out of here well I will say about this location there's more nectar coming in now here than where I'm at and we're probably a little further pretty decent amount south so Definitely a difference. I'm seeing more nectar.
it almost really needs to be split. And I'm sitting here deciding what I want to do. You got to figure out what you got to do. And I'm looking at the amount of these. I can take a five frame nuke off this thing. And I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's going to make a dent in it. it. It'll slow it down. It'll give me another couple weeks. But we don't have a new nectar flow coming. It took me a while to find her. I'm almost all the way through the entire box. And as I'm looking, man, there are a lot of bees and a lot of brood. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an excluder on this. Put her in the bottom. Put an excluder on it. I might move a little brood up. Just kind of set it up so I got a lot of brood and some eggs. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back tomorrow, grab the top box off tomorrow evening take it to the house um, I need to go back and get a good box so I'll do that tomorrow so I'll put an excluder on for now so I can get everybody back evened out then all I gotta do is come by grab the box and go that's uh that's what I really need to do I think a split is the way to go and let them build back up and this was an original plan to split this one anyway so I'm gonna go with that that's what my gut is saying I'm looking at this box and what I'm seeing is those frames although they're not spread all the way out that's chock full of brood but that's chock full of bees now they're not full side to side but that's splittable easy and this is definitely full so i want to pull some brood up to the top empty them out in the bottom i'll bring a deep back tomorrow to put on top of this but that box is rotten yeah see i don't want to use this box and they need a box when i split them i want to split them right so we're going to put an excluder on here for now Got her trying to fly. Did you see that? So we're gonna we're gonna take the box off and give them space tomorrow and see what they do. and here we are going through and grabbing this split so we're out here today and I'm just going to show you just how easy it is to do this split like I do it for me why I like it because basically I didn't have to go through that bottom and find that queen once I had kind of uh, decided I was going to split it I could have just shook everything in the bottom looked on each frame as I did shook it on the bottom put the excluder in and walked away it would have took minutes and then it's going to take literally literally five minutes to do what I got to do here but uh I did want to see the configuration of the brood. Turned out I didn't really need to move any around, so I could have just shook them and been done with it, but I didn't. So we're going to go ahead and do it the easy way. Good thing about this is they will repopulate the brood. The correct proportion of bees to brood, I think, is, is good that way, and, and that's kind of why I like it. I know that all I got to do is snatch the top and go, and uh, that's the plan. And by taking it somewhere else, I'll probably keep some of the field bees. Yeah, I went, I, I, and one of the other reasons I really kind of went through it, too, was I, I was still contemplating pulling just five frames off but after seeing the amount of bees in it it's just as well because um, then the queen side will still have plenty of time to build up for the honey flow at this point on all the all the splits I'm pulling off will probably have to do emergency cells and be walk away type of splits for the queenless side but that's not a biggie I've got my production side built up enough now with queen cells and everything else that you know if I find some swarm cells I'll put them in there hey more honey is more honey you know but I don't know I don't have to so let's get this done. I'll show you just how easy it is for me why I like it this, this split. Uh, unfortunately, driving back out here isn't the best thing. <laughs> you know, fuel ain't cheap these days. Heavy, heavy, heavy. That's done. So, deep, full of drawn and foundation. I'll probably see one frame up. Blow any queen down.
That's a good one. Oh, grain that we stored. Let me put this up here. I'm just gonna seed one today. Nice. Well, that's it. We got a lid right here that I brought in the truck. Already had the truck. And we're that's a split eye. There we go. Back to yesterday's video. Alright folks, I love it when a plant comes together. Well not really. This colony was like this the other day when I was splitting out here. I am going to shake a nuke. This is the one I'm going to shake. I'm going to start spreading them out. I found the queen. I'm going to separate her. I've got her in a cage, and this is how I do it. I was going to super this thing, but it started having some cells that were halfway built, and I should have kept them, um, but I didn't. And then I realized it, it needs to have some frames taken off. It's not like, it's loaded with bees, but not like the other one was. So I'm going to take these five frames. I'm going to show you how I do it. This is what I do, is to get the numbers way down. I've got her so I can shake all I want. I'm going to load up some brood and get them set to go. So don't mind the noise. They're going to be all over this camera. They hate the camera. Right now they don't care for me. They're not stingy. They're just buzzing me really bad because they don't like me being there. So we're going to split them up some. I'm looking for eggs. Got them. Might have to let them make their own queen at this point. This colony needs to be split up some. Yeah, we'll leave that one in there. So, reload this thing, get them closed up quick. They'll calm down once we close them up, but they are not happy. We'll configure the top box for them with some fresh comb. Oh, 
Alright, they've calmed down some now that they're put back together. That's easy. We shook them up pretty good. Don't you think? We let her back in. There she goes. folks that's a day you know nothing like a day that you plan and it goes nothing according to plan all i want to do is go out and super a couple highs when ain't gonna video that y'all didn't even see that and uh pull a nuke off of one that was you know on the edge of maybe swarming or getting close to swarming didn't work out that way that first colony was just gonna be a super but when i got in i thought man this thing is it's getting kind of strong a little faster than i planned so, so i just put it back together and supered it up Gave him some empty frames in the top, uh, kind of opened her up and took some honey frames off the edges and gave her some open space. So maybe that'll slow them down. Gotta check them next week because, like I was telling you, it doesn't mean they're gonna go into space just because they give it to them. She's really lacking space for brood, not space for nectar. There's pears blooming and all that stuff, and there's definitely more nectar down there than at the house, but yeah, you know, that's space doesn't guarantee anything. So I have to check them next week and may have to still split them. Uh, went into the one I was gonna pull the five frame off of. It originally was a, identified as a split when I did my assessments. And when I looked at it the other day, I was like, I can get away with this. Nah, I really couldn't. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna put her in the bottom, put the excluder on, and do what I had to do. I'm getting to the point in the season where splitting is, you know, splitting if I want to keep honey production going, is gonna be real close, getting close to where I don't want to split anymore. As it is now, these two boxes I'm bringing home, uh, I'm not going to have queen cells for right now. So, eh, you know, they're not, they're going to be walkaways. They definitely won't be any kind of production colonies. Well, one's a new, so they won't. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm getting to the point where I don't need to be splitting anymore because, you know, if you split and you, especially if you do walkaways, that queen, she's not going to have her first emergence of brood for at least another, two, what, eight weeks or so? It's a while. It's a while. So that's out. And if you start splitting some of these colonies down, they're not going to be ready for the flow, so it's a, it's a balance right now. But we got a long way. That's you know we got three or four weeks of keeping them from swarming, so it's a it's a balance game. So anyway, I went to put on the last few supers, and there it was. Uh, that thing, man, had started building some cells, and I probably should have kept a couple of them. They weren't. They were just started. Like just filled. You can still see the larvae in there uh, in the royal jelly. So they weren't they weren't super big yet, but. I cut them down and took a five frame off of that because that box was not packed with bees that's the thing about it she just was out of space to put brood and so uh, I uh, I took it in and shook you see how many I shook I shake a lot of bees I do I want to give them a big hit a big dip so once I find a queen I just shake I'll shake six frames um, and you know field bees are flying up at the same time plus a lot of these field bees are going home in the new. but anyway I, I get them shook out and give her some space and that's what I did open it open up her nest take a bunch of bees and some brood from her pull some resources and I put some supers on it and we'll hope for the best on that one again we'll have to check it next week make sure there's no sales make sure sometimes once they're ready to go they're ready to go but uh, you know I don't know we'll see but again she was her colony was not that gigantic where the other one uh, it's better to split it I literally would have had to pull another five frame nuke suit. Once you start pulling them, you have to keep on shaking bees out. Or you can split them, but you're just not going to have a production colony at that point. So it's that fine tightrope balancing and timing and peaking and all that. So it's the game we play. All right, it looked a little chaotic, but once we got that second deep back on, they calmed down a lot. But then when we got the lid back on, they really calmed down, pulled the nuke out of there. By the time I picked up, they weren't terrible. I wouldn't have took my veil off yet, but they weren't terrible. And uh, just got them closed back up, and hopefully we got that remedy. So we'll see. We shall see, but I got enough bees now. Once I start cleaning some of these nukes or get these things laying, I'll be selling some of them. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the day. I know it's a little chaotic, but in the end, we walk away with a new, we shut down the swarming instinct or the swarming desire or urge, we get them back on track, and we super them up. It's the plan, anyway. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you 
did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you don't mind, of course. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to share this video with friends, family, anybody that enjoys watching bees.